Kamu gue dan oman. Good. Hold on. Hold on, Kupi. We're gonna throw it on the grill. Just check that out. We're gonna get it off. Yeah, it tastes like pork. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't a pork sweet. <laughs> We're gonna be cooking up some armadillo today. It is a little bit frozen, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to work with it. So pretty much I'm gonna remove it from the from the shell and we're gonna burn these little hairs off. Ooh. So guys, right now we're removing the the shell of the armadillo. It's a little bit frozen, so it's gonna it's gonna take me a little bit of time. And this is like the best the best way to prepare your armadillo. It gives it a nice smoky flavor. And that is just about it. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna set it over the fire and we're gonna give it a nice, a nice toast or roast. So grab yourself a piece of stick and better yet, if you got a grill, grab yourself a grill, put it on and you're just gonna let it burn. So this is the entire, the entire armor. <laughs> but yeah, that's just about it. We're gonna let it burn on one side, and we're gonna flip it, and we're just gonna continue the process. We're gonna remove the tail and all of that. But hey, just let it burn. Turn on. Check out the amount of oil that is coming from it. So that's what you're looking for. I'm just gonna flip it on the other side and get some flames going. So it's looking all juicy, and this is the natural oil coming from it. So it's gonna taste really good in the soup. So what we're gonna be cooking today is just flour, a little bit of edibles. We got some pumpkin and we're gonna do a bit of yam. So stick around and hope you enjoy today's episode of Do It Prove It. Got dollars on the channel today. Coop! Coop is pretty much the chef. <laughs> I'm just helping out with the tattoo. So like I said, what we're, what, what we're looking for is just a high brown color. And so far, so far, we are getting there. So guys, the armadillo is on the fire. We split it open so we can get the inside. Just check how nice it is looking. So we're, kept, we're gonna give it a little bit of a fan fan just to keep the fire going. And we do got some coals, so we're gonna be cooking on coals today because the weather is a little bit wet, so that's why we would do it entirely on firewood. But hey, we're gonna have a nice flavor, and it's just a matter of getting it flip and turn. So check that out, it's looking good. We're gonna leave it a few more minutes, just check that out, it's looking good. Nice, All right? And that's what you're looking for. We got some edos. We're gonna be cooking edos today. We got some pumpkin, ginger, 
hot pepper and we got some flavor pepper but it's pretty much gonna be like a soup so we got some flour to go inside Coop is gonna take care of the, of the coconut so he's gonna do that and that is what you do today <laughs> Dallas, Dallas is pretty much just gonna eat he's gonna be the judge of it so the armadillo it's almost finished it's almost finished all right just check that out it's looking really good we're gonna wash it with some lemon and then we're gonna season it nice with a whole lot of spices natural spices onion garlic pepper it's just gonna be amazing so hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of do we prove it the armadillo is finished take a look at that just check that out we're gonna get it off and pretty much pretty much we're gonna wash it with some lime and so on and get it seasoned get it cut up into pieces and season and we're gonna be cooking it's gonna be awesome Coop made a little booby he got himself a little cut so I'm gonna have to do the cooking sadly Coopy you made a booboo <laughs> yeah so Coop managed to cut his fingers somehow so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do the yeah so I'm gonna do the cooking unfortunately it's not as bad as you think but yeah so this is just about finished let's get it off cut it up and time for us to to really get crank it right now we're pretty much just getting the meat prepared cutting up but we got to cut up and so on it's looking lovely just check that out check that out just amazing okay. got myself a, a lime we're just gonna wash the meat with it just a matter of just season and you're pretty much ready to go we're gonna transfer it into a pot one one that way we're not gonna get the seeds in it we don't want to be cooking lime seed all right got the lime off wash it nicely There you have it so it's ready we're gonna add the seasoning the peppers and all of that to it got ourselves some hot peppers we're gonna take care of the hot peppers the flavor peppers and i got myself some herbs we got some some fine thyme also got some thyme these are gonna make it taste lovely so it's time to just strip these and get everything into the to the bowlie and then we're gonna add it to the meat along with the salt and all of that we're gonna put some all-purpose on the meat a little bit of salt got ourselves some tomato sauce we're gonna add some tomato sauce pretty much just mixed up all right We're just gonna let it sit let everything just soak in and then we're gonna add it to the fire so like i said i got my herbs i'm gonna take care of the herbs the pepper i think i'm gonna use maybe one or two pepper hot pepper that is and the rest is gonna be flavored right so we got we got all the 
all the good stuff cut up pretty much just gonna add it to the meat all right and like i said we're just gonna let that sit for a little bit and then we're gonna add it to the pot let it cook and then we're gonna add the food and then we're gonna add the food we're gonna add some edos a little bit of pumpkin i think i got some yam we're gonna add some yam to it too time for us to pretty much add the meat to it just look how lovely that is looking good we got some pumpkin i'm gonna remove the skin Got some edos taking care of the edos right now. It's gonna be tasty. Got some ginger to go with it, too. We're gonna grind the ginger along with the coconut, give it a nice ginger flavor. We got a little bit of a little bit of yam. Not the best how to, to peel yam, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it that way. Alright, got your yam all peeled. Got some yam. That joke, I want head. <laughs> Taking care of the yams, the pumpkin is already inside. We're just gonna do a little bit of food, not much. It's not a lot of us, just three. We got the flour coming. We're gonna deal with the flour a little bit later on. Just taking care of the the edos, the yam, and like I said, the pumpkin is already inside the pot. We're gonna take a look at the pot a little while from now, and we're gonna see what happening. It's looking really good. Smell good? So we got some nice armadillo meat cooking up. Got some ginger going. This was coop work. End up and cut his finger. Sadly. It's not as bad, but hey. I think he did it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> we got some nice ginger we're going to add a little bit of water and then we're going to strain it check out the lovely meat that's nice like just amazing so we're going to add the, the ginger to it alright and pretty much what you're going to do is just put it right nice ginger ginger water to your meat and we're just going to let it sit for a little bit so i'm going to catch you grinding the coconuts it's going to take me a little bit of time but just preparing the coconut to go inside of the pot. Again, all of this was coop work. <laughs> now I have to do it. Dallas is pretty much just a judge. He's gonna taste 
because he's he has never had armadillo the way I'm preparing it today. So he's gonna be the judge of it. He's gonna give you his honest opinion. And if you actually wanna try it, I mean, the recipe is there, you see what we did. Just go ahead and enjoy yourself. I can smell it. Oh my gosh, it's smelling so lovely. If only, if only you guys can smell it. It is just amazing. So I'm gonna finish up with the coconuts and then we're gonna add the the sauce to it a little bit later on when everything is pretty much added. Almost finished on the final piece. Okay, I'm not gonna go anymore. So that is it. We got the coconut ready. We're gonna add some water to it and extract the, the milk. Pretty much time to just extract extract your coconut milk as easy as that let's check it out a lovely coconut milk Okay. We're gonna take a sneak peek. Oh my, oh my. Pumpkin is all smashed and everything. Just check that out. Nice. The meat is looking lovely. It's smelling good. It's smelling good. Uh, a coconut hashi with a bit of sugar. Right? So, pretty much what we're gonna do is add some flour to it. And we're gonna make a bit of. And we're gonna make a bit of a dumpling. Alright. So just mix that up nicely. So <laughs> much. <laughs> My finger like Too cold there Okay, he's on Must be Are you sure, yes? That's my body But that's the water Are you taking me? Why are you? Are you? <laughs> that has now come. What you have to do? The water has now come. Okay. That's as much flour as we're gonna we're gonna do because we do have a little bit of a provision to go with it. So we're gonna add the provision, the flour, and all of that, and pretty much just let it simmer. The meat is pretty much ready to to go. It's soft and tender. We're gonna give it a little try still just to make sure, and that should be it. Catch you guys when we're adding in everything else. So hope you have been enjoying the show so far, hey guys. We're gonna add the food to it. Edos, yum. 
right we're gonna add it the flour as well so this is how Coop wants his flour he wants them to be a little bit flat not wrong so I'm giving him what he wants so we're gonna just add these <laughs> Right, cook one some flat flour, some coconut dumpling with sugar. Not a lot of sugar, but this is how we like our dumplings. We call them sugar dumplings. <laughs> oh, oh, that you do. That's the, um... Give it a little stir. Alright. We're gonna have to add some water to it, but that's gonna be added a little bit later. Laugh if you want to laugh, man. What's up if you want to laugh? It's a big one. Boy. <laughs> now that's cool, eh? Boy, yeah, boy. You have that text on. Got the final flour going in. Right. You know what I mean? Just chug us up. Okay, there you go. Just a little bit more water. We're going to pretty much just try to cover all the food. Right. And that's just about it. We're going to let that sit for a little while. Yep. It's looking good. I know you guys are probably wondering why we didn't fill the pot all the way to the top and cover the food. That's because we're going to add the coconut milk a little bit later when everything is pretty much cooked. We're going to add the milk and it's going to be lovely. It's already lovely. So it's just a matter of waiting on the coconut milk. Woo! Check that out. So right now we're about to add the coconut milk. Right, the coconut milk is in. We're gonna give it a little stir. Give it just a little bit to store. That way it doesn't burn. Make sure nothing sticks. And pretty much, pretty much, we're just gonna wait and enjoy. Catch you guys when it's finished. Okay, guys, it's finished. Time for us to get it off. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh my gosh. This is just looking lovely. Koopy, come boy. I come here for shake you. Mm -hmm. Come here, cut. Me tell you, cut half your hand. Your finger cut. Me tell you, cut half your hand. Ooh, nice. Uh. Uh. And dollars. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Let me get some sauce on this boy. I 
Or one spoon, never. Too much. Three. That was going easy or no easy. Oh no, look at today. Two spoon, I'm going to bring. We get my own. Oh. a big spoon cook, I eat it. Looking good. Guys, guys, we are enjoying the sight of this food. It is just amazing. You get a black bag. It's a good food. Oh! Guys, just check check this out. It is just amazing. So this is Dallas. That's me, and that's cool. We pretty much finished cooking. Just check that out. It is just amazing. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit, let it cool. It is still hot, but Coop is going at his. Yeah. He's just enjoying it himself. So Dallas, what have you tried so far? The meat? Not yet. Ah, okay, okay. So guys, I'll get back to you when the guys are pretty much like halfway through the food and they're gonna tell you if they're enjoying it or not. I'm gonna be doing the same. So I really hope you enjoyed today's episode of Do It Prove It. This cook was just amazing. So until then, I'll catch you. So guys, check out Dallas bowl. Dallas is almost finished. Tell me what going on Dallas. How your food tastes? Yeah, it tastes good. You know, you know meat yet? No. Oh, wait, 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 plus? Yeah, I put it up. You meat for last. <laughs> we are back. Dallas is finished with the meat. Mm. Tell us, Dallas, how have you been enjoying the meat so far? Mm, good. Good? Yeah, it tastes like pork. <laughs> <laughs> and then a pork sweet. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, <laughs> I just finished talking to Dallas. I just finished talking to Dallas and Dallas is like, whoa, it's amazing. He won second round. So Dallas is going to do his second rounds. I'm pretty much still on my first rounds. Just going to grab a piece of meat and we're going to try it. <laughs> mm. Amazing. It takes a, it tastes a little bit like pork, like dollars. Yeah? It also have a little bit of a chicken flavor to it. It's amazing. So it's still in the water, doing a little bit of cooling, and after that, I'm gonna be eating. So today was really amazing. The plan today was to actually go and hunt some iguanas but the guys kind of changed at last minute so we just decided to cook and here you have it armadillo soup i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of do it prove it if you're visiting the channel for the first time welcome and remember you can also follow us on instagram and on tiktok links would be in the description so you guys check that out and i'll catch you in another episode of do it prove it until then you guys take care What's this dish there, man? They've been a problem. Armadillo. Mm-mm. Mm-mm.